Hey, let's go. Hey, hey. Yeah, get only get team from Washington, baby. Yeah. Hey. Only team yeah. from Washington, baby. Yeah. Hey. 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 This is David Dumbbell. Hey. 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 Game time, baby. Civil War Part Two. Popcorn, it's about to be a show, baby. Hey, the time for talking's over. All right. All right. We're gonna start talking with our pads the rest of the day. You have to be smart in this football game. You not being in this football game anymore because you did something stupid. That's not help us. Think about your family. Play your asses off tonight. You're a better team. Prove it. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Empire on three. Empire on three. One, two, three. Empire. Yeah. To put it simply, Spokane and Tri-Cities don't like each other. And after beating Tri-Cities in their house back on opening weekend, Spokane came into Tri-Cities again, looking to do that. And that's exactly what they did. As Spokane jumped out to an early 20 to nothing lead at the end of the first quarter. While points were scored on this night, much of the game was a hard-hitting, turnover-causing defensive showdown, as Spokane's defense has stepped their game up these past two weeks. Let's go, man! I mean, if we can, the D-line is nothing without the corners, especially without the linebackers. Everybody was humming around, everybody was tackling well. We were moving, a couple of mistakes here and there. We let up a couple of things, but overall, we learned from our mistakes and we kept fighting to finish the game. Like we said, that's the most important part. At the end of the day, what does the score look like? Meanwhile, offensively, Charles Dowdell had four touchdowns through the air while adding one on the ground, alongside Trevor Kennedy, who had two rushing touchdowns and one receiving. <laughs> Along with this, five Empire receivers recorded receptions on the night, and three of which hauled in touchdowns. Let's go! Let's go! It was a team effort. That's that's really what it was, you know. All night it was just about us coming together and doing our part at all our one eights. While both teams did their fair share of talking, only one did more talking with their pads. And thanks to that, the victory came by a double-digit margin for Spokane. You got Charles over here. Hey. Charles, come right in here really quick. Hey, come come on, in here really baby. quick. Hey. What are you guys going to do next week to him? Uh, same thing, same you know, thing. same outcome, and we're going to try to come out and just execute, you know, mm -hmm. and that's just our, our game plan. I think if we do that, I think we'll be all right. So 7 and 1's coming up? 7 yeah. and 1. 7 and 1, that's the next big goal. Who's out? Hey. Who's out? Hey. However, with Tri Cities coming back to Spokane for the third meeting between the two teams this year, the Empire know that the fever will be ready for revenge. But we know they're hungry. We can't underestimate them just because we beat them twice means absolutely nothing. That does not diminish the team they are. They're a great team, and we know that, and we've seen that, and we have to go out there next week and ha fight even harder. But unfortunately for the fever, they're going to have to deal with more than one section of true ninth men come Friday night. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! He said it best. Go, oh, that's a W. Spokane wins tonight, 52 to 39, as they improve the 2 and 0 against the Fever and 6 and 1 on the season, as they get ready to head back to Spokane for next Friday night's matchup against Tri Cities yet again. For Inside the Empire, I'm Connor Harrison.